All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. I really appreciate the love that you guys have been showing this series. It's been actually kind of crazy. It's It's been kind of crazy. But uh, again, glad to be back. La at the end of the last episode, we had just got to Diamond City. Um, and now there's probably, we have, there's gotta be tons of stuff in here for us to do, right? So we've been playing the game a little bit differently than I did my first time around. I was kind of, you know, I played a lot of this, the main story. I was doing side quests here and there, but I wasn't like really walking around adventuring, like talking to people. And that's kind of what we've been doing. It's just kind of speaking to like random people, finding like random little missions and things like that. And uh, I actually started using an automatic gun, which feels pretty good. I, I didn't use automatics in my last playthrough. I mainly sniped everything. So it's uh, Gabber. Got plenty of ramen meat on the hooks. Sure, let's take a look. Ramen's so fresh. Everything else, you're on your own. Uh, now, like I said, I did a lot of the, you know, the faction stuff, but yeah, side quests and things like that. It just, we didn't, it, it's such a big game, guys. There's so much game here. Uh, so Polly, let's see what she has. So for aid and stuff, uh, she's got a bunch of food items. We could, she's got a little bit of 308, which I actually think I might buy. Nah, 63 caps. Screw that. It's only got a thousand caps, guys. So, yeah, so she's got a little bit of ammo and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm good on that. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. Mayor, secretary, come on. Uh, I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you Nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. No, we don't. We don't need a haircut. Oh yeah, this guy. Don't be caught dead. <laughs> Protection so from Commonwealth weaponry. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca-Cola. Sheffield. Cola. New Coca-Cola. I, I should have a new Coca-Cola. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. He was so thirsty, Chad. We hooked him up. Yeah, we're playing vanilla. Uh, hey, I got Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Hmm. Really? You you mean it? Wait, so we can recruit this dude? What do you say? Oh shit! So let's send him the sanctuary. That's I. That's pretty cool. So you could just find random people in the world and recruit them. Okay, maybe this will be a fresh start. Hey, we actually nice. So once we get back to sanctuary, we can gear him up and uh, we can put him on guard duty. Combat zone. I stayed clear if I was you. <coughs> you there. You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Uh, I own Fallout 4 in VR. I just have not had a chance to check it out yet. Let's see what you've got. Handmade, each one. All right, let's see what this guy has. So he's got some melee weapons. He's got the barbed cedar swatter. Oh, that's actually pretty decent damage, but it's a slow weapon. Grenades. Um, light pistol. He's got the Rockville Slugger. He's all got all different types of uh, baseball bats. And then he's got some baseball clothing, corn, baseball glove, wood. He also has 308. Hey, Mo. Here to pick up a swatter, right? A swatter. Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting his for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 
100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? Damn, chat. Let's see if we can get a, let's see if we get a little more. If he's offering 100, that means he's getting at least 300, right? 100 caps seems light. I need more. You think you can play me for a sucker? 100 caps a piece and that's it. Take it or leave. Man, we need to up our charisma, chat, for real. All right. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. So this is gun store. I just hey, got trying to get the my new guy, right? The lay of the land here. Depends on who's asking. Name's Arturo. I sell protection if you're looking to buy. I'll take a look. Sure. Something for everyone. All right. Let's see what this guy's got. So he's got a lot of bullets. He's got 10 mil um, armor piercing sub uh, bayonet. The big boy. I've never used this weapon before. I think we used it once to just kind of see what it was like. But I've, do any of you guys actually use mini nukes like in a build? Like, you, like you, that's what you do? You just walk around with mini? That sounds like an expensive playthrough. Uh, boxing gloves, combat knife. Up to the armor piercing. Oh, here we go. Light hunting rifle. So he actually does have one. I never used a, a fat man in any Fallout game ever. Yeah, I'm the same. I never, I, I never got into it. Um, rolling pin. He's got a combat shoddy. Short hunting rifle. This one's not too bad. This one's only 163. We could take this and and customize it and get a full blown sniper out of it. Suppressed pipe submachine gun. Oh man, I think I actually might grab this this hunting rifle here and then we'll reconfigure it. He only wants 163 for it and let me make sure I don't have one, right? I don't think I've been able to get my hands on one yet. Mm -mm. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get this short hunting rifle okay and then i'm gonna sell him this junk jet because i don't want it no nah, we'll keep it for we'll keep it for the wall let's see sell him some of these we keep that one Okay, we got the price down pretty far. Um, I'll keep that three-piece suit for charisma. Patrolman's sunglasses. Postman's hat. Um, Sylvie, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. I appreciate it. And also, Ronan with the super chat before the stream even started. Thank you, thank you, brother. How you doing? I'm, uh, I just finished episode three last night, Caspi. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been getting caught up on the show. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. Damn, this dress is plus two charisma. Does that work for me too? Like, if I put it on? Alright, so we'll, we'll, we'll accept this. 38 caps for the for the rifle. So Need some sells. custom hardware? Hey. You? We got a I, I don't know you. For Just keep your distance. Scopes, clip sizes, what? barrels. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Synth? What's a synth? A synth, as in synthetic person. Those things the Institute makes look real with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? 
human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? <laughs> All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Let's see what she sells. I'll take a look, sure. Just don't call it junk. All right, so she's got bullets. We can see she's got some... A little bit of everything, actually. She's kind of a mixed bag here. Short combat rifle. You guys think the combat rifle would be a pretty big upgrade from this, uh... That's 12 damage. This is the ammo, though. 45. Wonder if it'll be a pretty big upgrade from this, guys. I mean, damage-wise, obviously, you know, we're talking 33. Yeah, I, I, I probably, I'll probably hold off on buying weapons because we might get some good weapon drops later on and it'll just be a waste of caps right now. Yeah, they want so much for everything, dude. It's so expensive. Screw it. Swatta, swatta. Who needs a swatta? The latest hairstyle from the... My name is Shemaska. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? Okay, so he sells noodles. Just trying to see if there's anybody else here that has no any work for us. A new file flew open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Is this about a facial reconstructive services? Actually, I need some supplies for the road. All right, but go easy on the chems. So if I do get chem addiction, I can come to this guy, right? Here's all addictions. Actually, I mean, 370? That's crazy, chat. There's no way. I feel so poor. You got everything you could need. Medics, Mentats, whatever. Oh, so this dude sells drugs? You looking for work? Looking for a job, if you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking rad X or rad away. See how much she's gonna pay us. Sweeten the deal with some money, and I might be interested. You strong arming me? That ain't cool. Hunter caps, that's all you get. Mutated Shit. fern. I can't complain, Sounds guys. Good. Cool. I, I, we need all the work Solomon. we can get at this point. Descriptions point. filled right here. Anything you need. Here's Roy Brown again. He's not chopping or being. Nah, I, guys, I know I could like do like things like make the 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 water freaking purifiers and just make a bunch of purified water, but like I, I, it takes a lot away from the game. I, I'd rather like. You know, work for the money instead of just glitching and just having all the not glitching, but yeah. you know, doing something just like that and then just have in. all the money. And then it just takes breathe that in. aspect out of the game for me. So I'd rather do quests and earn my money. You know what I mean? Sure. Let's take a look. Got your fix. So he's got some jet. It's a little expensive though. I do have ammo I could sell. Now, five millimeter is. I could sell this mini nuke too. I believe five millimeter is the. Um, what you call it? Fifty or the 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 mini gun, right?
If I could buy all his jet. Those. Get a couple stems from him. I'll take that. It's a good deal. The minigun, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I mean that was that was actually pretty easy caps right there with that minigun ammo. Alright, so we got two missions. Um let's head out and do these real quick. Earn us a little bit of money. Kind of get the lay of the land. Get it trimmed. Right, let's see. So we got two quests. Um I don't remember what the combat zone is. Extra, extra. Is your neighbor really Cuban? <laughs> what am I playing Skyrim? Shadow, it's funny you say that um, because I've actually been thinking about trying Skyrim uh, as of late. But if I do play Skyrim, I think I'm going to try that Novelis. So let me see where all that stuff's right down here. So that's easy. Key herbicide, what's going on? How you doing? Sounds like a setup to me. Seems like a setup. I don't know. She's right back here. Hurry. up so we know we're gonna shoot her in the fucking face what is taking so long i don't know maybe you should go check it out you don't think i will I'm tired of sitting on my ass anyway what's the point of hiding back here why the hell don't we just shoot them in the head the second they step through the door Nobody here. Look around. They couldn't have gone far.
Damn, dog me, I wanted to kill her. She was the one I blew at. can't trust nobody in this damn world, man. Yo, psst. Oh, I already, I, damn, I didn't empty dog meat earlier. So I can't even pick up a little bit too much. We're going to have to empty some of the, this out of our inventory. I didn't empty dog meat earlier, which is my bad. So I'll drop this. I don't know if there's gonna be any more guys in here. Paint mixer. What if that's like useful for something later on. I've never mixed paint before, so... Whoa! 255 caps! with the super chat think doing the right one around uh is where the um is where the fallout games shine environmental story time is top not not for real it is and no reservations with the super chat love the fallout show and your gameplay um not a gamer but i've watched all your fallout streams and they're super cool my <laughs> hey try it out no reservations hey if you enjoy fallout man just give it a give give the games a shot dude you never know it could be your thing Need to make green paint for a quest in Diamond City? Oh well, shit. If I if I mix it now, I'll be ahead of the curve, right? You're doing it right, Brian. Wandering around is where all the Fallout games shine. Environmental storytelling is top notch. Love the Fallout show and your gameplay. I am not a gamer, but I've watched all your Fallout streams, and they are super cool. Maybe I am a gamer, haha. -ha. Okay, so listen to the friends. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll mix up that paint. Why not?
won't be able to pick this. Nice. Perfect. You're now able to build a high-tech light at settlement workshops. Okay, cool. We got the hardware town storage key. Bottle caps, strengthened enamel. As soon as we're done with this area, I'm going to go dump real quick. So I hate having my inventory this full where I can't even freaking move around. It's so frustrating. One of those. Okay. Probably going to have to drop a little bit more here in a sec, but... So I don't know, does that key go to this door? Yes, awesome. Uh, we got a stealth boy over here too. Body shells, 38, grenade. Lock tight. Mm. So if we could ever remember, guys, we got a master lock safe in this place. It was a safe on the wall? In what office? This office or the other one? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta try to get that at some point. Master lock safe. That's no joke. Oh, it's behind a picture. <laughs> Don't see one, chap. There's a lot of pictures on the walls here. Ta-da. I mean, we got some pretty decent stuff. I can't complain, you know, especially for coming in here and it being a setup. You know, we made out pretty well. worked out better for us than it did them holy crap guys we've been going not even 30 minutes we're already up to almost 300 likes on the stream uh there's a vault i missed last time just a little wet like i missed a whole vault in the game <laughs> jeremy i'm not mexican no oh the paint that's what I wanted to do. Let me see. Is this place marked? Mm-hmm. Okay. We got to... We'll fast travel back. Because uh, my inventory is so full right now. It's, it's really frustrating.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and store a bunch of crap. Uh, actually, take all this stuff off dog meat too, real quick. Dog meat, come here. Hey. Yeah. Take all. So I'm going to customize this rifle right now, too. We don't need that one anymore. We don't need that. We don't need that. I always have such a hard time figuring out, like, what weapons I want to use and or what, like, weapons I want to keep on me. And I always feel like I end up walking around. With, does anybody else do that? It's like, instead of having, like, one or two, three weapons, maybe that you just have, like, I don't know. I'm like, I got a pistol. I got this. I got that. I just can't settle for just having, like, one weapon. <laughs> I end up carrying, like, most of the weight on my body is probably just all weapons. Army Gal, thank you so much for the gift. I really appreciate it. And Snake Eater with the membership. Welcome to the family. I'm not the only one. I, yeah, I I literally feel like I that's the one thing I can't compromise with is, is just the guns. I have to have the guns on me. Fortifying uh, metal right. Good. Gas bag. So this is actually better than what I have on this lightweight metal chest. We're going to throw that on. Yeah, because right now I'm rocking a lightweight tempered raider chest. I'm going to keep this three-piece suit on me just in case we need some charisma later on. Keep it on us. Won't hurt. Road leathers. Our gear looks good. Aid. You're worth a 16 jet, guys. Two stealth boys. Doing pretty good weight wise. This is my new gear setup. I Whoa! There goes a grenade. <laughs> no, no. I, see, I'm not an addict because we we still have the jet, right? We still have the jet. Right, let's head back down to this uh, hardware store real quick. Now, if I didn't have the jet anymore, then I could be like you guys being like, dude, come on. Oh, I didn't customize that rifle. I think there's a weapon, but uh, no, I got to head back. We'll do it. Swap that to there. Righteous. Put this. Let me just grab this paint real quick while we're here. How's the... What's that? Yep.
there's anything that we miss, I'll grab his glue. Was this jet? Here it is, baby. Missiles. More jet. There was no bodies down there to loot. Okay, so we need. Blue paint, yellow paint, make green paint. Blue paint, yellow paint, green paint. Okay, blue paint, paint, green paint. There it is. So I have three things of green paint. Junk will scrap when we get back. Ah, Jordan, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Listen, Jet is on on point, guys. It, it it's so good, especially when you're um, especially when you're trying to use like melee and you need to close the gap. It's 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 good. Drop this crap at base real quick. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna customize that rifle. Because as you guys know, I have to have all the different guns on me. I've already played all, Ryan, I've played all the Fallout games on my channel. We played um, three, New Vegas, four, and 76. The only Fallout games I haven't played yet were the old, old ones. Um, like one and two, I never, never got into, but uh, Tori looks good to me. I'm That's sorry. I, I I wouldn't be very good company right now. Why? Wow, Let's trade good. some things. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just. I miss him so much. Oh, uh, he's talking about his son. Okay, so short hunting rifle. Um, we're gonna switch it to the with the heavy. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> Hardened. No one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Huh. Powerful. It's real big. So let's grab the powerful receiver for now. Okay. And then switch it over to the... Long light barrel. Change it over to the full stock. Get the times... Uh, times eight combat scope. Yeah. 
and then magazine we can go with the throw a large on there okay. so it's gonna be my long range option Our long range option. Lightweight leather. We could switch it to this. Mod of adhesive. Adhe Damn, yo, you need adhesive for everything. Literally, it's uh, like every single thing you need adhesives for. I know. I know. We gotta. Where did I put my little cooking station? I don't remember what we need exactly for adhesives. So utility, vegetable starch. So vegetable starch is considered adhesive, right? So we need corn. The mutt fruit or the moot fruit, potatoes, water. Got it. So we need the vegetable starch in order to make that. We got a new member to the community, so we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Get a new bed. Down a bed. Um, I think we had space. Got space over here. Sean's old room. So now the community's good bed wise, they're good food, water. So again, we, 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 I think we spoke about this last episode when like, say I have the vegetable starch, right? And the vegetable starch gets me adhesives. I don't need to further break the vegetable starch down into adhesives, right? Or any of the other junk. Like say I need, like I have uh, uh, those weights that turn into 10 steel. Do you actually have to convert it into 10 steel or does it just automatically break down when you craft? No need to break it down. Gotcha. Okay. Big ass building here too. There's a lot of buildings in that town. We could probably check. Train carts here. As well, give them once over.
Oh, Austin, happy birthday. Figured somebody was around. You want to test out this sniper rifle? See anybody though? Good enough for now. Guys, this reminds me of that episode of Fallout I just watched last night, dude. There's some scary stuff in the water, man. Damn, dog, you scared the shit out of me, bro. Ah, uh, Z Killer Virus, thank you so much for the membership, man. Welcome to the fam. Got the glove. Ooh, got some jet. Duct tape, scissors, oil can. And we just found a short hunting rifle for free right after I bought one. Of course, that's how it is. That's how it always is. I know, I know. I listen. We played this whole time, and we have not found one. So that's why I was like, you know what? Screw it. We'll, we'll just grab it. Callie, what's up? Do I have a favorite cal character in the show? Um, I really, really uh, like the ghoul. Like, he's just, he's a badass dude. I really like him. The Brotherhood dude's pretty cool too. Baseball bat. Let's really take all that. Yes. Nice. 308, 38. We were signed baseball. Okay, and a silver locket. Oh, 
soft shells go down a bit easier. I, I will be using, oh no, a melee build though. It's just right now I don't have enough points to really do the build I want. So in the meantime, we're kind of just doing what's effective. There we go. Permanently gain 1% chance of avoiding all damage on, that. that's, I mean, granted it's 1%, but it's still not that bad. Side baseball killer, more jet. What's up with all the drugs, guys? That was the location of that. This was where we had to go find that fern. Head up that way. Do I play Fall often? I mean, we played a lot of Fall on the channel, like a lot. We played every game um, and we just now got back into it, but we're gonna be playing this. Uh, and then when Fallout London drops, we're going to be playing that. Definitely looking forward to that. So I'm not really using any mods. I have the, the patch that in the Fallout patch or whatever that fixes. Well, let's test this. Uh, sniper. Good hit. Uh, I have the patch, and then I, I have the see-through scopes. I'm bayoneted, calibrated. Really? Is there a date for Fallout London? No, I know it was supposed to come out uh, here soon, but they uh, they delayed it because of that new update that's coming out on the 25th. So hopefully we'll get it within, you know, a week or so of that update. That's what I'm hoping for at least. really fast. No, like, so I know a lot of people ask about mods. The thing is, is I played Fallout 4 with mods. Like, the before I even, like, legit, before I ever even played vanilla um, Fallout 4, never played the game in my life. Uh, a lot of my viewers were already like, hey, man, check out this mod. Try this mod. Try this mod. Try this mod. 
I've never played a Fallout game in my life. Ne didn't know anything about the world, the history, the nothing about the game. And I fired up the game for the very first time with the forest mod on. I had, if you go back and watch my initial Fallout series, you'll see, I had so many mods installed, guys. It was absolutely ridiculous. You couldn't even recognize the game. And then I did about two episodes and it just felt weird. Like, the, like, it was fun. I was having a great time. The world was awesome. The game was amazing. But it just felt off. So I'm like, I'm not, I feel like I'm not experiencing Fallout right now. Like, like, like this, this doesn't seem right. You know, what other people are talking about. My game feels different. And it was because I was using so many mods that you couldn't even recognize the game I was playing anymore. So I ended up going and removing most of the mods I had um, initially. I still kept a couple on, but I, I pretty much removed most of the mods. I kept a few gun mods and, and things like that. But for the most part, I went back to just kind of playing it as vanilla as possible because I wanted to experience Fallout. You know what I mean? I wanted to experience the game for what it is and and it, and go from there. Because the game, even without mods, like as you guys can see here, this is pretty much vanilla. It's still an amazing game. You know what I mean? It's not like you need mods to enjoy this game. I feel like mods play the game initially like use the mods you need to, to make the game you know run and work good but play the game initially experience the game and then play with mods you know what i mean mods i uh, would be more or less to like extend gameplay or to enhance the gameplay after you've already beat the game to add more to the game but i wouldn't just start off you know like i did because i regretted it i ended up going back and Oh, shit. Bears are no joke, dude. <laughs> They're no joke. Well, I mean, some of the mods I think you could you'd be all right with adding to the game, like kind of early, like even on your first playthrough would probably be like gun mods, but you got to be careful because some of the gun mods are absolutely busted. Like the guns are just so OP and unbalanced that like it take it does a, it will take a bit a bit away from the game for you. So you got to got to be careful. Um, and armor, some of the armor is really really broken too. Uh, But uh, yeah, there's some gun mods out there that you can add that are pretty pretty de decent. Hudson, how you doing, brother? It's good to see you, man. Yo, I've burned through my ammo so quick. I just realized that I had like a thousand rounds. I'm, I'm like down less than half of what I had. Okay, so this is the town we had to search anyways.
Get the fuck out! Don't even do it, chat. But that was some bullshit. Here we go again. Why can't you guys just understand, dude? <laughs> He's just a cat person, really, dude? I watched the Fallout TV show. Let me guess that. Brian, somebody's like, Brian watched too much of the Fallout TV show. Now he's over here stabbing dogs. Really? Really? seems clear for the most part but generally that too good to be true right let me save what we need. Damn, doggy.
That was a lot of ghouls, dude. And there's still more. Jet addiction, guys. How the hell did I get jet addiction? I don't understand how I ended up with jet addiction. I only took it a couple times. Wait, so he knew? So the guy that sent us over here to get these plants sent someone else already. Obviously she died. And he sent us over here knowing that there was a town infested with feral ghouls. Good job, though. Good check out there. Fine, doggy. It better be good, dude. Shit. There it is, dog meat. That's what I'm talking about, dude. He led us to like a gun shop. <laughs> I 
Alright, so we did get another um, skill level, actually. So let me go ahead and grab that. What level am I now, though? I'm level 11. I think I needed to be, what was it, level 13? In order to get Gun Nut 2. Yeah, we gotta have, we gotta be level 13. So we gotta start stacking agility too, though. I'm gonna start dumping some points in agility. Check this backside real quick and then we'll head out. Just want to make sure we get scrounger on, on luck. What is... We find more ammunition in containers. Not bad either, yeah. Play the biter, wonder glue. So is he gonna pay me a hundred caps per flower I get? Or is he just gonna give me a hundred caps for all the flowers? Cause I'll smack that dude in his fucking mouth. <laughs> well, I, I, I guarantee he's gonna be like, oh, here's a hundred caps. Give me the, and he's gonna take all the flowers. Both of those dudes kind of played me, though. They sent me in here on the cheap. The one guy said he'd give me 100 caps for each item, which but should be 300 caps in total. And the other dude just said 100 caps, but I don't know if he was referring to per... per flower or what. We'll have to see. Right, let's head back. Guys, I, I don't know why. I, I don't mess with chocolate like that. I, I eat chocolate every now and again. But these little chocolate ball things, you guys ever have these? They're like actual drugs. Whoa, what's going on here? Today's Halloween. But do we get treats? Don't no. move! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Oh, dude. Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Wait, I... Okay. Show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Damn. I, I didn't shoot him, right? Hey, Solomon. I can't believe that happened. It's totally ruined the mood out here. I can't believe that happened. It's totally ruined the mood out here. Move along. Excuse me. He pulled the gun on me. Home brother. What happened? I'm I'm not a synth. I I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I uh I need a minute. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? I said get the hell out of here now. Dudes are savages, man. Hey, Mo. Hey, it's you. They find any of those baseball items I mentioned? Got them all right here. <laughs> I like it, Gumption. Let me take a look. This baseball. 
He's the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. <laughs> Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. <laughs> Shit, I want to see what the hell that game of baseball looked like, chat. <laughs> and Anderson, brother, with the almost one year, man. How you doing today, brother? Uh, I have not seen the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 trailer. I didn't even know there was one. Where'd the other dude go? I think he went to sleep for the night, maybe. There he is. Now he's over here chilling at the bar. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in. And that's the bull. Solomon. Hey, you find any mutated burn for me? Got lots of plans for that plan. What did you need again? Mutated burn. Found the plant. Here you go. All right. Here's your payment, plus some samples from the pharmacy. Don't take them all at once now. Moderation. Everyone in this city's always jumping at shadows. Chill out is what I say. Damn, he gave me some jet too. Yeah, he only paid, he only paid us for a hundred. But I don't think he took them all. I think he only took. Yeah, he only took one. Okay. You saw Solomon. Him. Gotta accept life on its terms, you know. Something bad happens, just say yes to it. Ryan with the 19 months, thank you so much. Yeah, Armiga, that sounds like an intense game of baseball. You got players catching bullets with their gloves, beating players to death with bats. Like, so we're gonna have to get rid of this addiction in the morning. The doctor went up for the night. I think we could go hit, hit the hay ourselves. We could rent a room here, right? Just a minute, get him. I am in middle of story. So then I am crossing river, right? wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters, a mire lurk. A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something real uh, head. Uh, well, they were kind of in trouble. I forgot you were there, Yakim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. The best part of Diamond City is honestly the lights. You can spot those bad boys for miles. Hey, Hawthorne. Hey. What's your story? Mercenary? Caravan guard? Well, oh, mercenary. Blood bullets and money. All the way. Right? Well, maybe not so much the blood part if you can help it, but I hear you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over, seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. Hmm. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Vault 81. See you around, Hoffman. Andy, was that, that, was that the vault you said I missed? Or was that, uh, did we do Vault 81? I don't remember. Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Open during the day. There was a ghoul here somewhere. He was whispering at me. I don't wonder where he went. Oh, is this guy? Edward Deegan? Edward, got a minute? You'll find I'm very persistent. Okay, let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. 
From what I hear, you may fit the bill. What's the job, dude? What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You'll get paid the starting rate, like everybody else. If you turn out to be as useful as you claim, then we can talk about a raise. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. So we just got recruited, guys. You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him Miss? like I do. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. Not interested. Let me know if you change your mind. So we just got we just got recruited by somebody. I'm trying to see oh, who's the scientist. You have marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead though. <laughs> now let me know when you're ready to order. It's your bar, bro? So this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking. <laughs> Let's see what you've got. Good. Good. So it doesn't have anything great for sale. Um, I might get a room though. Let's talk to this dude. Oh, oh this yeah, this guy gets the rooms. rooms. What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms, mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Ten caps, that's not All a bad right. rate. Here's your money. You're in room two, just through the door. So I wonder when you uh when you rent the rooms, I think it's only for one night, right? Two. Come in, dog meat. Kind of expensive, but All right, so it's eleven PM, we'll sleep for eight. Have a nice day. So Beacon Hill, I don't know how far that is. Cabot House. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit of ways from where we are currently. It sounded like maybe we can get involved in the underworld there, chat. Get into some... Not, not that I'm a criminal, but I'm going to talk to this doctor. We'll get our, uh, our addiction cured. And we'll go check. Holy crap, guys. We already got over 500 likes on the stream. That's crazy. Not open yet? Wanna do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Why didn't she must go up? No, not now. So we're gonna wait till like nine. Maybe that's when the shop's open. Why didn't she must go up? Yep, there we go. All right, heal me Doctor, up, Doc. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. 
Yeah. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. Go over your symptoms with me. 75 to cure an addiction? Took one chem too many. Anything you can do? We can sober you up. <laughs> Please, don't be an idiot and go out drinking. Have I completely forgot about who? Who's Sean? Oh, the kid, the son. No, Cass, I didn't forget about him. He's the main point of the game. Well, that's that. Anything else bothering you? That was it. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Unexpected bit of news. All right, let's head out to the Cabot house. Let's see, is there anywhere over near there that I've already been? Yeah, I, I, I need one more skill point. I don't know if I have a high enough level to get that, um, that last chem perk. We need to be level 22 to become completely immune to chems. So we got a, we got a while before that. What do I think of the Dead, like Dead the Island 2 DLC? Done. It's a good time. Real... Definitely a good time. Uh, Joseph with the membership. Welcome to the fam. Thank you so much, dude. I was just chilling, man. We'll go to the edge of the harbor here. We'll kind of walk that instead of through town. Yeah, I have the uh, addictol or whatever um, to get rid of addiction. But the problem with that, that, that thing's super expensive. Like, you could get cured at the doctor like three, four times for the same price of buying one Addicto, so. Lord, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Mr. Trucks are bad. Yo, drugs are bad indeed. That's why we take jet instead. Got super mutants, 
Man, maybe this was not the best route. down not not bad guys are actually able to put in some work with this man Why don't I use that? That's his actual garbage. At least at my level. I know people are like, oh, once you're leveled up and you put 50 points into this and 25 points into this and have this perk and this perk and this perk, that's is OP. But I don't have that right now. So when I use VATS right now, like from the range, I would have just shot that 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 uh, super mutant, right? If I would have used VATS, I would not have hit him. It would have been like a 1% chance to hit him from that range. Um, but if I shoot him, then I'm just going to hit him. You know what I mean? So it's like, why put my shot that I know I can make up to RNG and VATS? You know what I mean? So, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. And then it's like, I'm not going to put all these points into, some, into VATS just to hit a shot that I can hit without it. You know what I mean? Whoa, nice. We got missile launcher. A lot of missiles, too. But you see what I'm saying? From this range, hitting... Well... It's buried in the ground. But it's only an 89% chance. Or 92. 91. I, if I aim and shoot that, it's 100%. You know what I mean? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't even see a missile launcher. I wouldn't mind trying one out. I've, I don't think I've ever actually shot one, like for real. Like, I could definitely see these being pretty, pretty damn good. Let me see. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. But we'll throw that on the, on there for right now. We'll give it a go. These guys, gunners. No! Oh shit! I didn't save for a long time, guys. So I got scared, dude. Oh no! Realistically, most of the jet is from Mama Murphy, guys. We gotta, we gotta. She's gotta have the. She has the sight. You know what I mean? I'm just. What the? See, like that shot right there. If I tried that on bats, it would it wouldn't have hit. But I can take the shot myself and hit. Let me see if I can lock this dude in the bats and see the percentage. He's, actually, he's out of VATS range. I can't even lock him into VATS. Who are these guys? Are they going to shoot me on sight? Or can I can I hang with those dudes?
It's a quest, so should I wait then? It's a lot of dudes anyways. I'm not really trying to... I'm not trying to catch those things. That's a, a lot of people to fight. The jet's not for me, Caspi. It's for my, Mama Murphy. For good old Mama Murphy. I'm so wrong about vets. We, we proved. I've proven it. Watch. I'll show you right here. So if I wanted to snipe this dude, if he comes back in a frame, let's see. Right there. So if I wanted to shoot this guy in the head right now, it's a 39, all right? It's a 39. Now, if I aimed at this dude's head and I shot, I'm gonna hit him from this range. He's standing still. It's 90, I'd say 95% chance I'm gonna hit this dude, all right? But if I click this, right? And then I hit the shoot, it actually hit like, Game's okay. trying to prove me. Now the game's just trying to prove me wrong, guys. I'm out of AP. Someone's out there. The jet will make you jittery. I guess she was right. What do you mean the jet will make me jittery, dude? I'm not taking the jet. It's from Mama Murphy. Did you type this? Good job, bro. Said so the jet's gonna make me all jittery. Jet, what? I'm not even on the jet, dude. Let's see what these guys want. They'll be cool. Okay, yeah, they're cool. Shit, brother Andrew. Hey there. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Uh, why do you ask, dude? That's you sound. It's not the questions he's asking. It's how he's asking, and he sounds super, super, like sketchy, dude. Come on, lady. I was in the middle of a conversation. Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Okay. What's your movement all about? I'm glad you asked. Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can be. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. Yo, this dude was 100% chat. 100% of vault tech salesman. <laughs> oh, 100%. Zachary with the super chat, brother. Hey, um, did I watch more of the show? 
for the shit begging for more or for more already i hope you and the fam are having an awesome day yes zach i've watched uh three episodes so far three episodes so far and i i'm, I'm the same i'm loving the hell out of it man 100 percent was a vault tech and a salesman Let's see, let's see what this is all about. Hey, brother, did you watch more of show? Yes, I, I finished am. it. All right, I'm then. begging for more Fantastic. already, and I hope you and you the fam having an awesome day. I promise you. We haven't had a single pillar leave the movement since we started. Don't worry. I don't bite. Bro, only creepy people that bite say, don't worry. I don't bite. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. What, am I supposed to follow this dude? Right this way, neighbor. Don't be shy. Just follow me. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our group. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. What? What does he mean, give him everything I own? Wait, what? You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small temporary sacrifice? Bro, you're not getting shit. What do I get in return for giving you everything I own? You're still stuck in old thinking. You're still clinging to your old life. But that's what you came here to give up. And the first step is to shed yourself of your material possessions. Bro, I'm not giving you shit. You can't seriously think I'm handing over all my stuff. The world is full of suckers, pal. Just look outside. Every one of them handed over everything they owned in return for... <laughs> well, hope. Sure, it's false hope, but hey, it was worth it to them. You can tell yourself whatever you want, but you're leaving here naked or horizontal. Your choice. I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. That's not how this works. That's what you want! What the? Boy, did not want to use a stealth boy.
That was a choice, chat. <laughs> they were like some mafioso, like hit him up type dudes. They were... want to murder everybody it just they, that was a choice they they made it they just wanted to not be alive anymore i guess damn 200 caps No way I could pick this. One of these guys not have the key on him? Well, I had a nice little operation going here. Could have kept it going too if they would have just let me leave. I don't see a key though. When you get the quest, you can get into the back room. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Did not mean to do that. Fucking kill! You got me sounding like a savage, dude. Where that bullet impact looked like it looked like they shot from above me. No sign of him now. Freaking adventure over here. Whoa. One of those, uh. 
Legendaries. He, he should Nah, if I shoot him, he's going to be able to cross the water. 100%. I don't know if I want that smoke. Across the water? Stuck, so we got him right now, guys. Vats of garbage. We, I, I just took three shots with it, and it missed every single shot. That didn't explode. Could missile him. Hello, my friend. God damn. Does 50% more damage against robots. Does the troubleshooter's combat knife. I'm not gonna lie though, the bats with the missile launcher is actually kinda cool. So Cabot House, we're almost there. Hopefully this ain't another setup, man. I gotta kill everybody in the freaking tired of being set up. Um, 
unexpected here, dude. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Wait, was that Deegan on the radio right there? Aren't these the dudes that have the, the nukes in them? Like when they die, they explode. That thing's going with you. Let's go meet the boss. Chicken cutlets are delicious with them. I mean, the pasta yesterday wasn't like pasta pasta. It, had, it has a different vibe. Did you nod off or what? Lead on. Yeah, I used a couple of them, guys. But Jack, it's because I had new to. New guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. Oh damn! Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm yeah, but it Jack Stabbing. Different. I don't remember what button put your guns away, mm -hmm. so I don't actually shoot one of these dudes. <laughs> what do you need, dude? Just tell me what you need me to do. All in good time, all in good time. Consider this your final interview before getting the job. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Hold R. Please, have a seat. I don't have to worry about a misclip. <laughs> now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time? Don't for... interrupt him. The question is this Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Aliens? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet, the very origins of human civilization, ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. I hear about the job, dude. Let's hear him out, though. You think aliens created human civilization? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures, Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Why couldn't you do it? You know what I mean? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. 
We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Oh, dude, I'm in. Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Chat, I need to play more like like ghoul from the show. You know what I mean, chat? I'm all about just... We're all about just getting the job done. You know what I mean? Just get the job done. We don't have to ask questions. We're here to hey, make Jack. caps. Got a minute. Um, yes. I saw Give myself a cowboy hat. I, I have a. I think I picked up one of the fedoras. Is seventy six a better game? Uh. No, it's it's a it's different. I want to say it's, it's it's a lot different than this. Um, there's a lot more story and stuff like that tied into Fallout, uh, Fallout 4 compared to 76, in my opinion. Let me see. Do I have... Well, let me see what kind of hat we got, Cat. I know I, I got a fedora. Gives me one luck, too. It's kind of cool. Okay, so we got to go some kind of to an insane asylum up north here. Okay, so uh, well, I want to walk up there because the thing is, this fast travel is cool. Like I can just fast travel here and then go up. But the thing is, is when you fast travel a lot, you miss a lot of things. Um, oh, there's Vault 81. You miss a lot of stuff. So uh, I want to explore like these roads and shit on the way up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to base really quick. I'm going to empty out my inventory and then we're going to teleport back here. And then I want to travel up there on foot. But give me one sec, guys, before we do that. Guys, sorry. I ran out of water, so I had to go get some water. And got my cranberry ginger ale. And I got a level. So that's fast travel. Chat, usually, especially where I live, they usually only have the cranberry ginger ale for um, like the holiday season. But yo, they've had it for, it's like, eight, it's April, and they still have it. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
19. So let me see if I can upgrade this other combat knight to be on uh, the level of the one we have. Okay, so I'll bring it up to the same level. Love to get that stealth blade, but increase the damage from sneak attacks. Targets bleed, except uh, that probably makes that thing hit so good. <clears throat> what level am I? We're level... 12. So one more level and I'll be able to get that gun nut. Perk. Yeah, we gotta start working on our stealth perks too because I want to be able to get close to people so we can start hitting them close up with the we our, our melee weapons. Like Ninja, we need that bad too. So it's still a point into sneak. Probably should get freaking idiots, idiots in my, uh, rank two. Get us a bit more XP. Yeah, Army Gal, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that uh, at some point because I I do want to link my settlements. Right now, I'm just gonna be building up Sanctuary as our as our like biggest settlement, and then uh, later on we'll we'll focus on doing other ones. So now I'm gonna travel up north. Wait, did I empty out my inventory all the way? I don't think I did. Right. Okay, we're not super overweight, so we're good. Junkie's note. I think it says something about jet. Oh, this guy had all this stuff on him. No jet, though. What's up? You there. Caravan or raider? Um, just... What? What? I said caravan or raider. Which are you? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. 
Bunker Hill. <clears throat> huh. Haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. Okay, so we've got a doc here. Not today. All right. Excuse me. Caravan worker, we got caravan worker. Kessler's terminal. Tempted to join the railroad. Hey. All this shit. Is that a pit boy? Need a roof over I your head? Seen one of those in forever. Only place in town. I don't think so. Might want to hit Paul for a drink before you go. Uh. <clears throat> hey, you. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. What's the railroad, bro? I mean, I, that's that. That's that one. That's one of the factions. Yeah, yeah. The railroad's a faction. We'll ask him though what it is. What's the railroad? The freedom fighters, willing to risk their lives for synths, and that means they fight the institute. Only ones that do. What? You think that's noble or some bullshit? That just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. You should look after yourself. See, now that's some advice. We got a business. You know how lucky we are? And you want to throw it away. All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. I wouldn't mind getting some service here. Where are my manners? If you want a drink, talk to me. Need a bed? Well, hit up Numbskull over there. So this kid wants to run off and join the railroad, guys. I'm more like... If the railroad's gonna make me money, then I would go with them. Okay, so we're gonna head out of this place. We're not we're not in this playthrough to for hearts and minds, you know what I mean? Is that a reader? That looks like a reader. Alright, see see that attack dog. So you see how this word attack is in front of the word dog? That autom this first word automatically cancels out the second word, chat. So I don't want to hear it. A million bucks. I'll give you that. 
shit! Basta. Drug den? Oh, there's some jet right there, dude. This is... This Best idea, chat. Damn, somebody's up there just popping drugs, dude. Damn, they're going ham. Like, who pops drugs like that? in his head, baby. Muzzled heavy 10 millimeter. Whoa, whoa, my man's got a nice rifle right there. Hold on a second, it's a nice looking gun. Yeah, that's actually better than a There cement. he goes again, killing dogs, dog tears of joy, skull dog killer. Dog killer, dog killer. Really Ronan? Now, tell me how you really feel, all right? Don't hold nothing back next time. It wasn't a dog. It was an attack, all right? Ronan, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. So I got this muzzled heavy 10 millimeter. Mine's 33, this one's only 23, so mine's better. But we got this Marksman's powerful uh, sniper that's 68 compared to my TAC, which is 68. Let's see, accuracy 105, range 215. This one has a better stock. Like it looks, it just looks nicer. But stat wise, mine is still stronger. I got more range. No, I think this one has better. Yeah, this one has better accuracy. Now, I wonder if you could take the. Uh, That's a hell of a scope right there. I wonder if I could take the sight off. But I kind of like the other scope I have because it allows me to, like, it doesn't, like, tunnel me in. Shadowmaker, that's what I might do. I might just swap the the stock and stuff like that when I, because I could, I think you could take mods off one one gun and put it on another gun, right? A lot of robots up on that 
ship right there. The ship was no joke looking there. Alright, oh, they're not they're not enemies though. That ship does look cool as hell, though. It says they're friendly bots, though. I haven't talked to Nick yet. No, not not yet, Cass. We, we kind of got sidetracked. So all these dudes are friendly. Edgy, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm new here. You got me in a break point, and I loved it. Uh, now you, you're all I watch. Hey, I appreciate that, Edgy. Seriously. I hope you're having a good day. I would be lying if I said I got a little nervous right there. As soon as he said warning, I was like, oh shit. I'm new here, but you got me into GR Breakpoint, and I love it. Now you're all I want. Please afford him all appropriate courtesy. Okay, so pretty much everything here, if I try to pick up, will be considered stealing, and I don't want to aggro anybody. Yo, look how many robots there are, dude. This place is a Unrolling nightmare. Gun. Identified. Intruder. Intruder. No, I guess we... That's an order. And for God's sake, use the accent. But not guess we, we do High gotta speed. work with uh Nuts. with Nick. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the congressional army. First mate, Congressional Army, why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. All right, let's get down to business, yeah. What, what, what do these robots so want? what do you want with me? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. Did he say Weatherby 
savings and loan. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. For your services, you will get your fair share of the prize money at the end of the voyage, the same as the rest of the crew. I consider this matter resolved. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. No, I don't think I ever did this mission. Kill them only as a last resort. Through the tree. I think that was the legendary. Captain Ironsides. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. So was that just, that wasn't part of the mission? That was just a, a random event? So with the navigator, they were downstairs. Well, the navigator was up here when I came up. Yeah, I would like to get down to that legendary and scab and see if I can get anything off of them. Patrolling. We haven't been to the vault yet. Andy, I do have the vault unlocked, though. Like, I have the icon on the map. We can go check it at any point. Yeah, we got the information from, uh... Who was it that gave... Was it... it was the guy in the, in the inn, right? The navigator. Oh, yep, hey, there soldier. he is. Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation one. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I just need to know where the chip is. Chip is with the thieves. Human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. 
Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Okay. Scanning. Check these bodies here. I think one of them was a legendary. Exterminator's leather left arm. So we got to speak to the other robot too, which is going to be up there. I'm going to get both missions and then we'll go out and get the guidance ship and whatever this other robot's going to want. Yeah, we already gave, well, we gave dog meat a collar, but I don't, oh, I think when I emptied him out. I took the damn hey. collar off him. So I did have armor on dog meat too at one point. We can give him this. It was so easy getting sidetracked in this hey, game. Hey, navigator. And it's funny, because even in the show, uh, the, there was a reference to getting, uh, getting sidetracked. See what I can do about your cables. Offer you my anxiety emulators lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Okay, so he wants us to repair, replace three power cables. Um, new cables. Yeah, 
Siri, why mind your business? The primary power of cables prime, uh, power in the USS Constitution since I'm badly afraid of damage. Install new cables, jerry rig. Salvage replacement power. No, so we'll install new ones. Wait, no, my intelligence was high enough to do it, right? You only need three. I don't want, I don't know. How, we'll just inspect all the new ones. I don't want to risk it being jacked up. Mess around with blood the damn ship. <laughs> Guys, we got almost 800 likes, seriously. I, I really appreciate the love, guys. That is crazy. That's three streams in a row that you guys have literally, um, like, like this one are gonna probably be over a thousand likes too. That's absolutely insane. God, I've been watching it several games lately. Well, Orlando, I, I appreciate you being here. Hey, Bosun. How? Course is through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems, long starved, frigged to life. <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. All right. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seeds. Okay, so we gotta buy a replacement. Repair or buy the, uh... I don't think I have one, though. A relatively common and can be probably found in many salvage shops. Okay. So we'll keep our. We need what? There's a power coil, right? Defending the Constitution. Uh, Stefan, what's going on? How are you doing? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if we can find one out while we're out and about already. I mean, if I could loot one for free, that would be awesome. I already know trying to buy one caps-wise is going to cost me an arm and a leg, man. placement over there at Bunker Hill. We got the guidance chips over here, so we're gonna go check the guidance chips Beware, location. Oh shit, is that the fast way up? Oh man, let's take that from now on.
And I literally thought there was going to be baddies Go over shoot! Here. Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. Why? So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kind of with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. Does it really matter how I got aboard? Fine, don't tell me. But you gotta look inside, right? All that salvage, the real motherload, just waiting to be stripped and sold. So it all boils down to greed, like it always does. Hey, if we sell those gizmos, uh, I don't know, they could help orphans and stuff. Us humans could use it a lot more than those robots. So you talked with a tin can. What do you have to say? Your men took something from him. He wants it back. Well, that's too bad. It's our salvage now. You know what he needs it for? His rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. Rockets? Why is he building rockets? Who knows? Maybe a bomb. Maybe he'll launch himself into space. Who cares? It's valuable as hell. That's what matters. Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. Nah, chat. Ain't happening, dude. Let's see what she's offering. Let's see what she's offering first. What's in it for me? What do you think? The tin can's gonna pay you? Maybe in some freaking doubloons? Stick with us and you'll be rolling in caps. So you in or out? The only thing, if I say I'm out, I wonder if these guys are gonna aggro. I need to think about this. Don't take too long or we'll crack the Constitution open ourselves. And then you'll get nothing. <coughs> How many of them are here? Just in case I say I'm not going to help them, I want to make sure that... Hey, they better be coming soon. This is three of them. There's a mercenary Those here. scavers are under our protection. Got some Once we get on that ship, we're set for life. Don't shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. Mandy. So you're gonna help us or what? No deal. I'm with Ironsides. Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down. Lucky I don't shoot her in the fucking face, right? You know what, chat? I'll let her go. 
Because you guys are going to consider... Way to turn down the chance of a lifetime, loser. Call me up. <laughs> no chat. Now, see, the thing is, that she has it coming. She has it coming, but I, I'm going to kill you guys. Oh, there Brian goes, killing grandmas. Oh, like. If you got any brains, leave. I don't have time for the likes of you. Payday is coming. I don't know who the fuck she thinks she's talking to. Uh, the Days Gone shirt? Yeah, dude. Armigale got this for me. I love it. Oh, there it is. It's it. Is this guy ever going to leave this room? I'm gonna do this just to save this granny's life for you guys, chat. Who? Let's do this. Here. Ricky, granny, sometimes <laughs> listen. Gone. I already know I would have took that granny out and chat would have had something to say, so it would it, instantly. Ricky, thank you for the super chat, man. And Ronan will give you an exemption pass on this grant. No, no, there's never. I, the one thing I've learned with chat is there's never an, a, an exception. It's always absolute. So there it is. I got the chip. The granny still breathes. So don't say I'm a granny killer no more, chat. I'm a granny sparer. Save. Don't think I can pick Super this. Super locked. Lorenzo with the gifted membership. Thank you so much, man. How you doing today? Let me go see how much this power coil costs. Yeah. What have you got to trade today? Fifty percent more uh, limb damage. So expensive, though. Black Ops chest piece. That's so expensive. It's got some monstrous stats. I want the Black Ops set. That sounds dope as hell. Okay. Oh, uh, this is what we need. Just one of these. Oh, they're 44. They're not that bad. 
We just need one, right? Knight, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate the love, man. So we'll just buy the one. Yeah. Got it. I would have killed the shit out of that granny. I would have beat her ass on the spot if it wasn't for Chet and and Pat and, and their judgment. I would have. Yeah, Casper, I do gotta, I, I do gotta sell some stuff back at base, man. I, I gotta make a couple trips to the town now that we got diamond city we take a couple trips there we could probably get like five six hundred caps pretty easy warning overdue for maintenance trust me the granny's gonna have she's gonna get what's coming to her chat she's gonna get what's coming to her regardless all right Get hers. Hey, Bosun. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you. But alas, you cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir. Huzzah. <clears throat> well, if you've got nothing else. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. We got the guidance ship now we can bring to him. Try America Rising 2. Wait, I've never even heard of that. Army guy, you know I would have. Don't make me go back there. Don't make that. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. I'm trying to be different. Don't make me go back there. I'll bury that old lady. Coming up before I left, dude. Tell me more. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Poseidon radar transmitter. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. I was supposed to use that um, boat in the front, the shortcut, and I already forgot about it. Come on, Batman, welcome. Casper, I am doing melee. The thing is, is until I get certain traits, you know what I mean? I got to kind of, I can't like solely rely on melee because I'll just get shredded. So I'm, I'm trying to use it here and there. And then once we get our, our actual build going, we'll be able to completely lay into it. But 
as of right now, we kind of got to still use a little bit. But I'm not going to be only melee, you know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm still going to use uh, guns here and there, but... Let me see. Where the hell does this... Put the transmitters on the other side of the water here. I want, you know what melee weapon I want? I want a nasty, like, Assault Tron sword, guys. There's an OP melee weapon. Is it is it an amazing Assault Tron sword, Lucy? And guys, I want to thank you. We literally almost got a thousand likes already. That's crazy. Seriously, thank you. I forgot to use the dinghy, yeah, uh, but... Got to cross the... Oh, we'll cross right here. Screw it. Where's this? Where's this weapon, Lucy? Where's this? Where's this weapon, man? All I got right now is this, this knife. Uh, Kelly, I know it's crazy, dude. It, it really is. I hope you're having a good day too today, brother. Dunwich Bores, far to the east. How far east are we talking? Is it near any of these areas? Because I, I can go all the way east for the most part. Got the Arc Jet, Abernathy. Oh, I got addicted to jet again. Oh no, that was west, wasn't it? Yeah, the west. It's, it's oh, I, yeah, I've been to Dunwich. That was um, we actually have a mission there. Yeah, we actually have a mission there. That, that place was over leveled as hell, though.
Don't you hate when that happens, guys? It's a glowing rad rush too, so things probably gonna be a little tough. Hopefully we can one shot it with the sniper. Super radioactive. Oh, that's a big ass bug. That was a big ass bug. Plasma infused 10 millimeter auto pistol. Permanently easier. Got radio transmitter, bullets, mollies, night vision, hardened pipe action. We got a muzzled pistol. I want to check out the stats on that handgun. Edgy, thank you so much for the super chat. I love that you don't edit. Uh, your... Oh, nah, dude. That's the. Well, where's the fun in that? You know what I mean? Because the thing about like editing out mistakes, it's um, I like to use it, mistakes as a learning experience. You know what I mean? If I make a mistake, because if you as a player are always watching somebody who plays the game perfect, you get in a mindset that you have to play perfect. And if you're not playing perfect, then you know you're you're subpar or you're bad at the game or something like that. But then when you watch somebody who, you know you consider to be really good at the game, which I don't consider myself to be good at anything really, you know what I mean? But people, who, for instance, who watch me play like State of Decay and stuff like that, they'll be like, dude, you know, you're, you're considered one of the best players. And then they still see, even me at that level, I still make mistakes. It just goes to show like, dude, it doesn't matter how good you are at a game, dude, you're always gonna make mistakes. Like it just is part of it. And um, yeah, that, that's just how I feel about it personally. It's, and that's why I never really want people to not see my mistakes. I want you guys to see my mistakes. Where the hell? I wanted to try this new um, plasma infused 10 millimeter, but I don't know. The comfort's at 27 damage. But I feel like if I, I could take some mods and, and dress this one up. What game am I playing later? I'm not sure yet. I haven't I haven't figured that out yet. We'll try it. Let's give it let's give it a go. It says it does 10 damage, um, adds 10 points of energy damage. So it does 16, so it does 26 all together. And then once I customize it a little more, it might be a bit better than it is. That's pretty cool. 
So it's ballistic and plasma damage. Ricky, I'm not scared of that granny, dude. I spared her for you guys. Is that a death claw? Chat, where am I? I am not. Pistol was garbage, man. I wish I would have kept some more water on me. I would have been able to heal without wasting the stim. That was that was crazy guys. There was there was a lot going on right there. Had those Mylurks, then the scorpions, and I ran into a freaking um super mutant base, and now I'm probably gonna have to redo all of it. Whoops, wrong game. And then, and then we turned and ran into a death claw. Good thing the death claw didn't get on us though, because I'm pretty sure they would have been able it would have been able to keep up with me for the most part. Okay, so this is right before shit hit the fan.
Don Miguel, thank you so much for the super chat. Welcome to the family. So many news. Yeah, we, we, of the past like three, four days, we've had an absolute amazing, like an insane amount of subscribers. It's crazy. Told you, brother. Thank you for the five gifted memberships again, man. I appreciate the love, dude. And everybody's who received the membership, welcome to the family. Nah, people have been showing some crazy, crazy love. We've got a lot of subscribers. Overdue for maintenance. Patrolling. Maintaining present call. Oh. Place the. Oh. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. Defending the Constitution. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. Spare, so you want to spare them, dude? Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion. Which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. Okay. Yeah. So, now can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task, and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. We got the captain's quarters key. me in here if it's all still considered stealing oh this is where the turbo pump is nice it's got a covert up I know you can find a lot of those throughout the playthrough guys why are snickers so good Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this, the membership, man. Welcome to the fam. No, no, it's not that I can't steal. I would have totally stole that. I didn't. I, I'm just not trying to aggro up the robots. That, that's what I'm worried about. Throwing up all these robots and then uh, having to deal with that BS. Okay, so where's this factory and how far away is it? Okay, so it's... Damn, that's really far. Okay, so one of the things we're going to do is... I had that Minuteman mission up here at the Dunwich. I want to see if I can at least... Because we went there before and all the enemies were crazy high level. So I want to see if we head up there, if there's still skulls to me. Now that I'm a bit stronger. So.
Guys, ain't nobody worried about that granny. Like, you guys really think I... I'm not gonna say nothing, cause then she, I'm gonna give you guys ammo to hold against me. So I was able to switch the stock. Yeah, I like I like how you can just swap the mods around the rifles or, or all their weapons. It's it makes it so much simpler. Oh, so it's a hold on. I know what I could do to make this 10 mil better. perfect but we're surviving okay so this one switch it the heavy 10 millimeter here we're going to swap all of those parts over to the plasma and fuse so we're going to switch it from an automatic receiver to the powerful okay so now the damage is the same but now it does 27 ballistic and an additional 10 plasma so that's going to be good right there throw on long barrel change it to the comfort grip So now that gun's gonna hit nice. It'll be just as strong as my other one. So we'll roll with this for right now. This should be enough stuff. Grab a little water. Hey.
Austin with the super chat just moved uh, from third shift to first like and now finally you can finally straight. participate in live streams keep it up Ryan hope you stick to this hey, I really appreciate it now Austin it seems like a lot of you guys are enjoying it so like I tell you um, as long as you guys are enjoying it we'll keep playing it you know what I mean because I I'm having a blast playing this like this game is so awesome all right so we're gonna head over to Dunwich we're gonna see if we can even hang with the enemies here Show your face! Come on! I dare you! No sign of him now. Get this one health. This guy's wearing power armor, isn't he? I'm... Yeah, that's the Raider power armor. Why 
know you're here. Only half health, dude. That's ridiculous, man. Uh, Blingman with the super chat. Um, you start this game off as a melee build. I did. I. I did start off as a melee build. I still plan on using a melee build, but if I were to try to melee these guys, I would die instantly. Avocado with the super chat. Um, was one of the super chat. Now I have a job. I can do that now. Is this game worth it? Yes, Avocado, definitely worth it, man. Hey, Brian and everyone, how is it going? I have been lurking in the background, checking out the gameplay. I guess the hype is real. The TV show Jump started everyone back to playing the Fallout games. Top Gun, for real, it really did, man. And it, it's it's great to be back, too, dude. It really is. Um, we just got shredded right there. But Top Gun, guys, I really appreciate the super chat. Seriously, thank you so much. What level am I? I think I'm level 12. Yeah, we're level 12. These guys are still quite strong. This is me trying to go there.
psycho, man. 25% so more damage and stealth damage. Fucking <laughs> power on the booth. Absolutely insanely tanky. That was a good zing. No, I can't wear that power on my suit, can I? Now I got 13 so we can get gun nut rank 2. So you can't get access to the frame. You can take the pieces of the power armor, but you can't get the frame, unfortunately. Doesn't shadowed make you harder to spot? clear out an area like this right and then I, I i leave and come back the enemies don't respawn right because if anything i'll grab this power armor pieces and i'll just bring them back to base oh eventually they will so I I, I, I could probably fast travel back to base and come back here and it'll still be cleared out. All right, we'll see. So we're going to go ahead and that. Well, the issue is, is I don't know if I have the resources to throw suppressors on this.
can't. Gun nut level three to suppress the sniper, of course. Stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone. Yeah, we needed some screws, guys. <clears throat> Um, and we can we can get a better receiver. I don't want to waste too much time fast traveling around because time passes. So we'll, we'll do it afterwards. I don't I don't know if I'll yeah the desk fans give good amounts of screws, but. Away from this side. The area is still cleared out, which is good. chest piece there so right now i have the uh the painted this one's yeah that one's significantly better holy crap and it gives you radiation protection you guys had some pretty decent don't have as much ammo as I thought I had. I've already played Fallout 76 top um, on the channel. Full playthrough. Start to finish. We did everything. Wow. Okay. So where's my goal for this weapon, guys? Like, where do I got to get? There's like an entrance over there. Track quest. 
Oh, the yeah, I do have that quest here with um Yeah, this one. Problem is is there's the uh I see the entrance now. There's that damn raider up top, man. The uh legendary raider. Wait, the inside is worse than what I just had to go through outside? Seriously? How bad could it be? Got traps. He get hit. So I shut down the turret system. Oh, There's only one more turret connected. One turret connected to it. What's up with the grenade? Cut the lights.
Gotta watch your hand. Stop. Every way. Every which way. here So there's nothing hooked up to this one, unfortunately. Bro, do you have a great night, all right? Sometimes Vats is... I, I would have just done that myself, though. I, I literally just wanted to test what Vats was going to be like with the machine gun right there. And, of course, it missed one volley of, of, of gunfire, which makes no sense. Damn, this place is deep as fuck, Chad. What the hell? I thought I was just coming here to get some... Why would this be a, the second settlement that they send me to?
Oh, okay, that was clear. Awesome. Short combat rifle. Got a free combat rifle, which is nice. Less damage from robots. Three likeness would flame. Let me give it some duds real quick. Can't find Jack Diddley squat. What was the level on this terminal? It was only a novice, wasn't it? Literally none. Oh, really? Here's one. The other word that had the, the same amount of uh, likeness with the word flame. Damn, spamming on safe in the light, dude. <laughs> wow. Okay. So where's this weapon you guys are talking about? We gotta keep going? I think this goes deeper. What was, I mean, she said she was safe in the light. Okay. Big issues, guys. Is we don't have a whole lot of ammo. Yeah, I never even came in this place in my first playthrough. I never did this, right? Oh, at least I don't recall. Damn. A lot of ferals in here. Really, dude? Gah! I don't have grenades. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to throw a grenade and he, it, it wasn't my fault, Jay. He walked right in front of me. Get eight rounds. Yo, we're completely out of 38. 
what once felt, felt like an endless amount of bullets was easily chewed through. That's a legendary. Chest piece, thirty percent chance to ignite melee attackers once every twenty seconds. I don't know if that's any better than the one I was wearing. Got a really cool, especially playing melee. Four crank laser musket. Mm. That sounds actually pretty nice. Ten percent more damage while aiming. Now, what does a four crank mean? Does that mean, uh, instead of getting the two shot, you get four? Now, does it take all four at once is the question. Take the solvent. Oh. 
capper, double barrel. To 20% chance to cripple the target's legs. That laser musket is nasty, guys. It really is. The, the issue with it is just the, um, it can't be suppressed, but it hits, it hits different. Bobblehead. Permanently 10% harder to detect. No, don't drink the fucking water. That is cool as fuck. Friends tooth. Yeah, I never did this before. This is cool. This was a cool area. <sighs> Friends to target bleeds and our poison. Exceptional damage. That's really cool. <laughs> this computer here did have a tape on it. Like we could listen to real quick, see if there was any information. Station four are still under the impression that we are setting up a new station. 
so quiet. Let's see if we could listen to it in my pit boy. If it's... some kind of obviously was some kind of cult type of thing happening down here they're all meeting up and doing a little weird huddle around the water but, uh, but we survived chat we made it though Now, is there a, um, I wonder if there's a trait that will, uh, allow you to swing melee weapons faster. Like, is there anything that helps, like, any, like, points that we could put in anything that, um, would help with weapon attack speed? I missed. What did I miss? I feel like it was kind of weird having to go. <sighs> Not this way, right? Uh, back at the intersection just before you enter the room with the bobblehead. Yeah, right here. Yeah, there was stairs. There's nowhere to go here. It's a because I came up these stairs before. It was a dead end. Maybe it was this way. I didn't come up this way. Damn. That thing hit as hard as hell.
At this rate, we're not gonna have none left for Mama Murphy, chat. We're not gonna have none left for Mama Murphy. Good. Got it. Does feel like a proper melee sword, though, guys. It feels good. Ninja's the ability we want because as soon as we get that, we'll be able to do our stealth attacks. Our sneak attacks will do four times normal damage um, in melee, which is going to be huge, guys. Huge. But we also got to find some better melee perks. Like toughness is going to be important. Um... Big League, this is really good too. You can become, that's what I was playing on Lucy was having that Ninja Blitz, cause you guys were saying you could use Blitz and it allows you to like close the gap really, really click. So that that's kind of like what I'm gonna be using. Um, but we obviously got to get more agility points. We're gonna need what one, two, at least three more points in the You know what? Let's just let's just agility stack right now. Let's go. We're just gonna stack our agility. Uh start working towards the build.
was. Back where, we all, where it all began. One point one K likes. Holy crap. Seriously, guys, I really appreciate. I I cannot believe. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, guys. But if we if we get around one point five, one point six K likes again, we'll, I I could do another one. We got the sword too. Now we're gonna be able to put some a lot of work towards this build. Now I like I like all the Fallout games. I like four the most, obviously, probably because it's the most modern feeling. Like 76 feels pretty good too, but obviously a lot of stuff is different with that game. Um but Fallout 4 compared to like 3 and New Vegas. New Vegas and 3 are amazing. Like honestly, if they ever do finish those mods, the cuz aren't they working on mods right now that are like it's like a Fallout 3 remake and a Fallout re New Vegas remake in Fallout 4's engine? Cuz if they pull something like that off, like, you know what I mean? It's going to be awesome cuz that's the only thing about the older Fallout games is they just didn't age well. Um when you play them, they do feel really really dated. Um and it's just kind of like eh, you know what I mean? See if I can kill this raider legendary here. Hunter's 10 millimeter. There we go. 50% more damage against animals. We got a little bit left for Mama Murphy. Don't worry about it, chat. We got a little bit left for Mama Murphy. able to do that settlement because they gave that that was our second settlement and it was it was such a high level we couldn't even push the uh, Minutemen stuff anymore did you have any luck with those raiders I took care of those raiders for you really well that's the best news I've heard in a long time oh by the way we've talked about it and we've decided to support the Minutemen I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Got me out there rolling around. So now all this, yep, so now I can take all this. We need all this for uh, making adhesives. So we can get our hands on here for crafting. Makes the day's work more satisfying to know what's yours stays yours. Yeah. I need to assign someone to this. Seems to be growing well. 
I need to assign someone to this. Oh, I gotta activate the... the I need to One assign thing someone know. to this. Hey, wait, go check. Hold position. I need to assign someone to this. Don't worry about that. Dude. I need to assign someone to this. This doesn't count as stealing, Chad. Someone to this. Shut up, dude. I I know. I need to assign someone to this. Thanks to you, I may get a full night's sleep for once. So we got all that fruit there. This is going to be an awesome, awesome settlement for the the moot fruit. Cause yeah, we can do vegetable star. All we need is potatoes, and I believe we got. A bunch of potatoes um, at the other farm too, right? Let me see here. It was, I believe, Abernathy Farm had potatoes, right? <laughs> Do you think I might? I'm, I might need those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Seems to be growing well. Don't say it, dude. Yep, so we got a moot fruit um, settlement, and we got a settlement that grows potatoes, so we'll be able to get a bunch of uh, starch going. Awesome. So the water purifiers would probably be pretty important to do because we're gonna need. Damn, we need corn too. Slaying us to. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a corn farm going. tell Preston he'll be happy to know that there's no more settlements that need our help I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to the people there have decided to join our cause that's great news one day we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the commonwealth for good as usual, I've got something else for you to look into. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, Damn, way before already? my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. We're definitely not ready for that, bro. <laughs> I'm not sure we're ready for this big of an operation. It is a risk, but the radio station will let us respond immediately when people need help anywhere in the Commonwealth. I'd say we need it if we want to bring the whole Commonwealth under our protection. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? No, later, dude. We're not ready for that. I'll think about it and get back to you. Your call. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. So what, the drive through make a good farm, is he saying? Or the drive-in? I want to get my, my suit of power armor back to base. Yeah, the the drive the drive-in. Uh, he, he made it sound like it would be a good place for a, a farm.
how do I close this gate? I forgot. Where the, where's the switch? There it is. Finding jet from Mama Murphy. I had like almost 20 jet. We got how many do we have now? Down to eight. Kind of rough. We got eight, dude. Mama Murphy hasn't had any. We 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 shared some of it with her, right? We got our power armor suit here. It's, we're missing. Yeah, we need a leg and an arm. It's not the greatest set, but hey, it's a set of power armor. I'm holding out. Listen, Mama Murphy just. He just doesn't need it as bad as I do right now. You know what I mean? So I have a... Uh to this place, kid. Your energy. I, I lived here. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that ice box. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The sight can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Jet? What's that? What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the sight, so it's not always gonna be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. I can't afford to give her any right now. I only got eight. I don't have enough to give her any right now. JJ, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, congrats on hitting 100k. Your fault, but I, I, I still cannot believe that, JJ. Yeah, our episode one of this series, guys, over 100,000 views. That was, It's crazy. Oh, my God. I, I mean, it is for Mama Murphy, right? The jet, the whole, the whole time the jet was for Mama. Oh, we'll give her one. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. No. Now, let me ride the high to where the sight wants to take me. You're looking for a man. He can help you. But he ain't gonna be the man you expect. He's somewhere deep and dark. Surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. 
But there's an echo. Something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, tell them to remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Damn, so she just gave us the juice. She said, when me and my friend find the fat man and the angry woman, we give them that passcode and they'll let us pass. Dress up this combat rifle. What does it shoot? 45? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll probably switch over to this. Instead of the this. If I can get uh good attachments for the combat rifle. Army fatigues can be worn underneath. Let's see, army fatigues. Oh, they can. Nice. And they give us plus one strength, plus one agility, too. I'm missing a left leg. Or right leg. Right now my arm is 29 with the uh, 30 uh, laser. Whoa, thought I was storing stuff. Yeah, we're getting a little low on jet. I know we could start crafting our own like psycho jet. Like you could do like your own combinations, which eventually we obviously need to get into, but. Let's see what kind of um, upgrades we can do for the sacrificial blade. So that's already good. Um, I'm gonna need more screws. Yeah, if we can get some screws, we'll be able to do by armor piercing uh, automatic receiver on this. We can get the long barrel.
Throw on a better stock. We can get the larger mag. Um, we gotta throw on a reflex sight. But you can't, we won't be able to suppress it without gun nut level rank four, which is way out of reach, but it'll be a nice, it'll be a nice weapon. Upgrade your scrapper perk to get screws from weapons. Ooh. What tier is that though? What, or, well, that's, a, that's scrounger, scrapper. Where is, where is scrapper? It's an intelligence. Oh, damn, it's two levels. You can scavenge uncommon components like screws, aluminum, copper when scrapping weapons and armor. That, that'd be clutch. But we'd have to drop three points. So we'd have to drop two points in intelligence and then another point into, um, into the perk itself. It'd obviously probably be worth it in the end. Um, but right now we obviously don't have the points. And we're trying to go heavy into agility. We, we need, because three points will get us our build. Well, four points will get us our, our build that we want in agility. So it's just a matter of time. We're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to go. Uh, put in a little bit more work, guys. So this needs what? Left arm, right leg. power when I got I got the helmet we got the torso and the left leg I need a right leg and the left arm ah oh, Dr. Midnight hey what's going on uh there's a quest in Diamond City that uh if you solo you'll get like 40 of each truck Jesus Christ um we had a mission from that doctor though to go where was it we got super super sidetracked what was it i mean we still have this mission here too but we had the mission um right here special delivery with jack cabot We haven't even done like any of the like <laughs> any of the starter stuff in, in Diamond City chat. We haven't even like started any of that stuff yet. We just kind of been exploring and just having a good time, you know what I mean? But yeah, we'll we'll do that Jack mission and then um I'll finish up that that robot mission at the ship. And then we'll go from there, guys. But we're gonna end this here. And uh, I want to say thank you guys again so much for all the support. This has been absolutely insane. Um, you know, how how well the reception's been on this game, on the channel. Uh, I'm having a blast playing it myself. It's, it's just been, it's been so good.
so 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 good i'm really really happy you guys are enjoying it uh but yeah i'm gonna be going and eating some dinskis uh but what i'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna raid over to the wife because she's still live right now so we're gonna raid over to the wife and uh, I want you guys, if you guys do end up going over in the raid, hey, make sure you spam the chat. Let her know I sent you. Obviously, she should know. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for the membership, the Hardened Survivor membership. I really appreciate that. Now, we're going to raid over to the wifey, though. And then, uh, yeah, you guys spam the chat. Let her know I sent you. Be nice. And uh, maybe I'll even pop over there because she's going to be cooking. I'm going to be stepping out the room. So I'll be out, out there. Hopefully, I'll see some of you guys over there. But uh, thank you guys again. I'll be doing another stream here in a little bit after dinner. I don't know what I'm playing yet. Got to go look at the list. But we'll be doing another stream here shortly. So uh, if I don't see you guys later on tonight, you have a great rest of your night. And for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.